We're out here today to catch bugs. We came to Shenango Valley State Park to sample the aquatic macroinvertebrates in the area. This environment is home to a host of juvenile insect species. I'm Julian Shepard, Associate Professor of Biology at Binghamton University here. And I've been here quite a while. Fresh waters are particularly rich in various kinds of insects and related animals as well. Um, there are probably the main things are mayflies, which is what uh, fishermen are particularly interested in, and uh, stoneflies and caddisflies. And they all live in the sort of more rushing parts of the river, but then there's also some dragonfly larvae and uh, and great big uh, Dobson fly larvae called helgramites, which live in the river. The main importance of macroinvertebrates is that they're the base of food chains. They are what fish eat, and they use a lot of fish, and um, they're what a lot of organisms eat as well, including the organisms that eat fish. But these species' habitats are currently threatened, and the species themselves are at risk of decline. Probably the main th stage that's threatened is, is the juveniles in the water and its water quality issues. There's still a lot of pollution coming from agricultural lands and um, unfortunately our wastewater treatment plant is being repaired now but it's, I'm afraid it's polluting the river uh, quite a bit at the moment. So what can be done about this? How can you personally help to protect these species? This is an app called iNaturalist. Users can upload their own identifications and observations. These observations are then added to global databases and ecology, which helps aid research efforts. Here's one of its most avid users. I'm Mina Haribal from Ithaca, New York. I've been in this country for 27 years. I've been doing research in chemical ecology. I started uh, iNaturalist just about uh, a year and a half ago. Um, and I have about 1,000 uh, observations uh, on the list. So if people can photograph insects and then put it on uh, iNaturalist, then there is a better understanding of what species are found and which rare species are found where. Individuals can add to the information on biodiversity and that helps uh, people planners to decide how to do, what to do. You too can be like Mina and help contribute to identifications and research efforts. We don't know how the system works in nature. If we take out one thing from the nature, then there is a loss of uh, chain reaction in the nature. So it's always uh, n nice to uh, preserve the natural habitat. Well, we could always use more effort to learn their lives and how they live, all of these macroinvertebrates. What uh, people can do generally is just respect wetlands, work to sort of uh, preserve them in various ways, either as nature or through regulation, and uh, because wetlands are very important for all of these things. My main emphasis to general public is uh, try to maintain natural ecosystem. Don't change the ecosystem by planting something else or uh, destroying whatever natural area is there with uh, unnatural things. So any citizen science is welcomed. Not only will your findings aid global conservation efforts, but your own increased knowledge and connection to nature can help raise your awareness of potential developmental efforts that may threaten local organismal habitat. So get outside, go out in your backyard, help preserve wetlands, and be aware of the little species that live around us and play a major role in our daily lives.